welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. We would love it if you would subscribe down below and hit that bell so you're notified when we upload. We have an exciting video today. Well, it's exciting for us. We're just yeah. going to do a get ready with us. We love doing these videos. So yeah, if you want to come with us and do your makeup, let's get started. We thought it would be fun to, well, I don't know if Carly's playing with any color. I'm trying to incorporate some color for summer. I'm Lips and cheeks I am. Okay, yeah, so I'm really trying to use products I don't normally use. Mm -hmm. Stay away from nudes. I'm sorry if I keep fidgeting with my top. I got this new top. I think it's really cute, but it keeps riding down. Um, okay, so my t-shirt's new as well. It just doesn't look like anything <laughs> interesting, but I like it. <laughs> yeah, this is really cute, isn't it? It's from Mango, mm -hmm. and it's really affordable. I really love the color. Anywho, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Hydrating Foundation. I really love this, and this is really good for summer because it's a little bit dewier, um, and I don't use it enough because I used to use it all the time, and then I got my Makeup Forever Reboot and like really mm -hmm. started using that, but this one is so good. By the way, we both just started using vitamin C products like a few weeks ago, and I feel like both of our skins, yeah, our skin looks I'm gonna do a full review like on mine. more even because I'm obsessed. Um, but I'm going to use the Say Slip Cover. I was using this for a long time. I'm doing two pumps because um, well, I already have sunscreen on, but we're going to be out in the sun later. So this stuff has like pretty high SPF, SPF 35, and it's mineral. But regardless, you should wear sunscreen even if you're inside. Yeah, but um, I stopped using this for a while to try some like newer products. And I recently, because my skin's been looking like really even, and this is really sheer, I just have been gravitating towards it because again, it has that SPF content. And my skin has also felt a little drier lately. And this stuff is so dewy. I did a whole video on it. Um, I mean, you're gonna think I look crazy. It's like so dewy. <laughs> but um, I've noticed lately my skin just really likes it because it's been so dry. So I'm using this today. By the way, I'm taking this pretty far down my neck, as I'm sure you can tell, for two reasons. <laughs> One, the shade that I have, which is 60N, is just a little bit too yellow, which I find with like a lot of ColourPop Kim Collection products, um, too yellow or too pink. They don't really have like, well, at least I haven't found like a great neutral in this foundation. Um, so I'm taking it down my neck, and then I used those like Tanologist tanning drops once, and it made my body a little bit, a little bit tanner than my face. Um, okay, and then for concealer, I guess nothing new to see here. I'm just going in with my Clinique with a little bit of shape tape. The mirror that we're using, we got these mirrors from Target to film these videos because the mirrors we had were like truly awful. And they're great. They're like pretty big, but I really can't see because it's pretty far away. So. Really? You moved yours closer and your table's closer. Just move it closer then. Yeah. I, mean, I keep adding more. I feel like, I don't know. I'm just adding a lot of this today. It's very, um, like I said, it's super sheer. So, but I added a lot down my neck. I usually don't do that. You guys probably know it. Well, is it because of the color? Yeah, I feel like I'm really fair right now. And this is shade three. Um, it's just slightly darker than my skin tone, but it's adding some nice color, which I like that because I, I need it. And then I'm going in with my Kosas concealer. I'm sorry, I cannot use a new concealer. This is just my... You know, I can't use a new concealer. Well, yeah. I also haven't really purchased a new yeah, concealer. Yeah, that's true. This is just my love. I don't know if I'll ever stop using it, even though I still can't find a shade for me. If Kosas ever watches this, please make some more neutral shades. Less that goes for all up. brands, actually. Yeah, I know. <laughs> please right? make some more neutral shades. Well, I can't believe that it's June. This no. year is really flying by. We have an exciting month ahead of us. We're going back home to Wisconsin. We actually haven't been in two years, so it's pretty crazy. But one of our best friends is getting married and we're really excited for that wedding. It should be a blast. They've been engaged a while, so I feel like there's been a lot of anticipation yeah, for thankfully, this wedding. I don't think they ever moved their wedding, though. Thankfully, they yes. like, always had this date, so that yeah. was great news that yeah. they didn't have to, they did not you know, deal with all that with COVID. last year. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we're extremely excited. And usually when we go back, I mean, it's usually for something like a wedding. Yeah. Um, well, that's not true because we don't really like to go back in the winter, so 
we do generally make a trip in the summer. Yeah, we don't go um, for Christmas usually anymore. Yeah. It's also so expensive. It really is. Fly. Even now, it's it's nuts. We're just from a smaller town. Well, it's and not like, even small. You, there's no direct flight is basically what yeah. I'm trying to say. So you either fly into Chicago and drive, which we've done, and I actually like don't mind that, but when, you know, when, like we're flying back the day after the wedding and we don't really want to deal with driving like three hours. Mm -hmm. um, but we're renting a car regardless, which is nice. We always like to do that. And um, we, we're going for longer than we usually do. I think we're going for like five days. Yeah, we usually, we don't usually go only long. go for the weekend. So we're excited to see everybody. The wedding should be fun. Obviously we're vaccinated now, which is a relief. Yeah, I have a quick thing to actually talk about with makeup. So I saw this brush on Target and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but there's brands on Target now that like, they're not on Target.com or in stores, but they're, on, they're, well, they're on the website, but it's fulfilled by that brand, kind of like how Amazon does that. Okay, sorry we answered our mom's FaceTime call, but we're back. Um, so what I was saying was, there's vendors on Target now that just like fulfill themselves. So I think they're like expanding basically like their vendor base. Like Walmart seems, does that too. Yeah, Walmart mm -hmm. does that too, but then obviously Amazon as well. Yeah. So I saw this brush on there and it's Royal and Lang Nickel Omnia BOM-185 oh, brush. Okay, so the Royal and Lang Nickel they own that Moda brand that oh. was on Walmart and is now on Target. Yeah, those are good brushes. Yeah. Yeah, so this didn't have any reviews, but honestly, just the shape looked perfect for cream bronzer. So I ordered it. It was only $20, which I feel like is a really good deal for like a good quality brush. And this is gonna, I just opened it. I didn't even have time to wash it, which probably isn't good, but I really wanted to try it out. So I'm gonna use the Patrick Ta Sculpt Duo in the medium shade. She's sculpted. So going in with this new brush, and this contour shade. Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm curious. Should I dab it on my hand or should I just go in? That one's pretty sure you could just go yeah. in. Yeah. Sure. Thoughts? Okay. I really like it so far. I feel like this is really good. I don't know if you guys can see, but like really good at pinpointing, especially like more of a contour product. Yeah. Oh, and wow. It blended it out so effortlessly. Can you see? Oh yeah. That's how I feel about, I just purchased the Refer 05 brush. Alana Davison raved about this like for years and then she recently did a video about her favorite brushes and talk, talked about this again and I was like, oh, I know these are expensive but like I've been wanting a new bronzer brush forever and I love that it is like smaller than the other one I was using, more like precise. So I'm gonna use it with my Bare Minerals Invisible Bronzer. It's so funny that um, one of you asked, I forget on what video, like, oh, do you still love the Invisible Bronzer? And I'm like, yes, this is still my favorite bronzer ever. I just try not to use it on camera because you guys can't get it in anymore since it's discontinued. But yes, this is still my all-time favorite bronzer. And so I thought, summary look, I love the baked formula, that this is like a little bit glowy, so I'm gonna use this today. Okay, I really love this brush, but I definitely wanna try it. Like, I feel like with this formula, it's honestly perfect. Like you should try it with but like, I um, need to try it with a little more pigmented the NARS. Yeah, like the NARS. You guys know we love that, but it's it's much more pigmented than the Patrick yeah. Ta. Um, to see like it, it might be a little too dense for that, but still I'm definitely gonna keep it because I'm just so impressed with how it's working on here. And I did go to the the brand's website to see like reviews on there, and I know a lot of people said they also use this for foundation. Oh yeah, and I could see how that would be like a really nice foundation brush. Although I have a lot of foundation brushes I love, so yeah, I don't need that. But this blended so nice. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see this bronzer. Brush. Yeah, that brush looks really it's nice. It's so good. It just like ugh. oh my god. I'm just good. shocked. I keep looking at my skin like what? I feel like this blended in perfectly. I mean, this Patrick Ta, we've talked about this in our cream bronzer video, which you guys have seemed to really like. Yeah. Um, that it's probably the most user-friendly. Oh no, I put some on the sides of my nose. Now that does not look. I did too. Uh -oh. I'm gonna try um, it with concealer. It's probably one of the most user-friendly, like beginner-friendly cream bronzers. So I do think, you know, this brush, well, it just, it looks so good. I'm really, like chopped. I feel like loading up this bronzer, but this I looks great. I don't care. I just love bronzer, you guys. And this one is my. It's just so good. It's so good. Bring it back. I am before setting my face. Even I think I'm gonna go in with the other side of this duo, which we talked about. I much prefer the cream side, like just the color. These are a bit warm on the powder side, but since we're kind of doing like our summer makeup today, I already love this base. It is appropriate to have a little bit of a warmer color, I suppose. 
yeah i'm going to go in Ooh, oh my gosh with the cover of x uh, monochromatic blush duo in warm honey i love this the matte side is very pigmented so i'm just going to dab a little bit and then more so focus on the shimmery side but i love the packaging on these i love the um the color of this one yeah that's really pretty now i have to set my face i am officially so dewy wait what oh yeah I thought for a second I was using a cream blush, but I'm not, so we're fine. Oh, this is so pretty. I love it. I'll put some on my eye, eyelids, too. I'm going for a very warm look, if you couldn't tell. I hope, I thought, like, this shirt would go well, and I'm like, mm, maybe the shirt's, like, too fall-like, but whatever. We're just going to roll with it, because I like the shirt. I just got it. I think, like, a rusty orange can be worn at any time. Yeah, that's true. Look at my base. I'm, like, loving it. Yeah, I'm, like, oh really gosh. impressed with mine as well. Yeah. I need to like follow these products more like that cover effects blush duo i feel like because i like the shimmery side so much it like i um associate it with summer which it's like you know only now starting to get warm so i feel like for a while i just wasn't using it and that's pretty silly of me because i really love it but i do use the bare minerals all the time i'm going in with the cream highlighters i'm going to spray my face first for blush i'm using this blush that i honestly like I fell in love with it when I bought it, and then you you guys know, you just buy other things and you kind of like forget. But then State of K always talks about these blushes, and it reminded me to pull it out. So it's the MAC Glow Play blushes. They are like an incredible, like bouncy, sort of like cream powder hybrid formula. And I have the shade Blush Please. And I remember I almost bought like the really nude shade, which Alana loves. I forgot which one that's called. And then I saw this shade, and I was like, oh, I kind of love how that's like a kind of like deeper mauve, but it has like a lot of brightness on my skin. Like it was just like unique to my collection, I felt. Um, and it's like really pretty for summer, I feel. Cause it's kind of like a nude, but it's, I mean, you, you can be the judge, but it's like pretty deep on my skin tone. So it gives you that like brighter flushed blush look. So I love this blush. It is a 10 out of 10. I'm probably gonna do my brows next just because I want to have my brows done for when I go in with my eyeshadow. And it's usually pretty quick for me. It's so funny when people are always like, I did my brows off camera because they take me forever. Maybe I just don't care as much. Yeah, I don't care. I just put the Patrick Top brow Yeah, mine are in. so quick. I just put, you know, my CoverGirl brow pencil and then the Anastasia Brow Freeze. For highlighter, I pulled this out. I'm just pulling out all some old products today. It's the Bare Minerals, and I think they still sell this. And yeah, they do. Glow Highlighter in the shade Free. This was like my favorite, or one of my favorite powdered highlights before I got the Ilia. Um, but they actually are really similar formulas. Yeah. Like, they're very similar. I think the Ilia shade is a bit lighter, so I just, like, reach for that one more. But this still works on my skin, even though it's a little bit darker. I just, you can't go as, like, overboard as with Ilia, or I think it'll look a little... Well, I don't even think you can go overboard with Ilia, because it's pretty intense. It can be pretty intense. Yeah. It's pretty. It's really pretty. And I rarely use powder. I mean, this this looks a little overboard now because I rarely use powder highlights. But um, it is kind of bringing on my texture, I'm not going to lie. But it's a really pretty highlight. So I think I might just go over it with my foundation brush a bit. Sort of mute it out. There's my CoverGirl brow pencil. Like I said, I barely filled them in quickly and then I'm gonna use my Anastasia brow freeze quick. I can find my brush, it's so hard. We need like a better setup for this. <laughs> okay, I'm using a new product for my eyes, which Beauty Pie sent us a ton of things and we're gonna do a full video. Yeah, right? we're getting some more so we can like review a pretty good amount. I'm gonna look back, because if you watch Jen Phelps, um, we love Jen, mm -hmm. and she always talks about Beauty Pie, and like in her um, Sunday haul videos, she often like reviews, quickly reviews some of their stuff. So I'm gonna look back at her videos and see like what she liked, because we have similar tastes and what I should pick yeah. up. But I'm using this palette, um, definitely the two shadows in here, and then maybe I'll like play with the bronzer and the highlight on my eyes as well. But it's the One Palette Wonder Warm Neutrals. Um, so I'm really excited about this. I, you guys know I never try eyeshadow. I'm going to try, or I'm going to use the NYX Glitter Glue, I think. I'm just putting this down as sort of a base because my, no, no eyeshadow stays on my eyes anymore. And Bruh yeah. always raves about this. And I recently repicked it up just as a, yeah, repurchased too because mine was old. And it's the only glitter glue that I like. Like, I feel like so many of them I feel, feel like really it's thick. just an eye primer, though. Yeah. They just call it a glitter glue. But it really, really holds. I feel like a lot of eye primers don't hold onto pigment. Like this holds yeah. onto glittery or shimmer true. shades. 
I do think I'm going to go in with my finger first on this shade, which is like the lower, is there a, I don't think there's a name. It just says shadow. I mean, it honestly just looks stunning. It's like a bronze with a ton of glitter in it. Oh God, it is stunning. Oh my gosh. Okay. I forgot to say. Oh my gosh, this is so really? pretty. Look at it. Oh wow. I love that. Oh wait, I have a mirror here. I'm going to do this. Yeah. I forgot to say for highlighter, like I said, I'm using a cream. I'm using Merit Day Glow in Bounce. Usually I use Cava, but this one has a bit of like a rosy pink tone to it. So I thought I would go with this look. I'm like very glowy today between this and that blush. I put way too much of that Bare Minerals highlight on on accident. Well, let me see. It's not that bad. Okay. I'm just not used to it. Yeah. You guys, this eyeshadow. I mean... <laughs> This is like my dream bronze color because I find that bronzy eyeshadows, and if you love neutral makeup, we've talked about this before, it is so hard to find something that isn't too warm. Like I recently wore Hourglass Burnish, their scattered light shadow, and I really love that, but like it just, the base is so warm, and I just feel like it's so hard to find a bronze that has like the right amount of pearl, but isn't warm and this is like perfectly neutral and then it looks like there's a lot of gold and silver reflex i love this eyeshadow yeah that's really pretty look how pretty that mm -hmm. is they have it in them so i don't think i'll be able to ever try it well i could try it once and then wash it off but yeah that would just be a tease really really love the size of that palette too me too i'm gonna blend it out with this other one labeled shadow which is just in the middle. It doesn't look deep enough, in my opinion, but let's see how. No, it's probably just for like the edges. That works. Um, I'm I'm probably doing like a whole thing today, so Carly might have to like keep you company while I finish up my eyes. But I'm using the Natasha Denona Safari palette, and then I'm also gonna go in with the Jackie Ina palette that I love, and I don't use this enough. I haven't even used all these colors, and like that's a true travesty because they are seriously so beautiful. So because I kind of want to do like a warmy, maybe pinkish look, I'm gonna start off with the shade. Sorry, that mirror is huge. Lotus. I'm just gonna try to put this in my crease. I never use this one. Tamarind. Maybe you know, maybe I'll mix a little bit of tamarind because this is my all-time favorite shadow. If anyone has a dupe for tamarind, this like beautiful yellow tan color from Check Temptalia. Yeah, I guess I should, but I don't know if she would dupe just a single shade. Oh, I, I think I have. Oh wait, I have one of those Natasha Denona singles I got with like points on Sephora. But isn't it, wasn't it a, um... Yeah, I think it's called Camel, so I think it's from a different palette. Mm -hmm. But it looks really similar. Yeah, this one's my favorite. So there's so much kickback on these, but I love the way that these shadows blend. Actually, you know, if I wasn't doing, like, a video look, I would just keep this. Mixing Lotus and Tamarind is giving me, like, the most beautiful, like, nudie pink or, like, nudie mauve shade. Because I feel like Lotus on its own would be, like, a little too pink for my preference. But mixing the two, oh, my God. I'm really confused what's happening here. The shade, what? when you swatch it, is, like, literally lighter than my skin tone. <laughs> maybe there's just something. It's probably just to blend. No, but, right? yeah. Or, like, put down yeah, the base. Maybe there's something on my brush. Like, but it look at looks like two there's a... together. Yeah, that's really pretty. Oh, my God. It looks like there's palette. a, a crease shade enough. going on. But, like... This shadow is lighter than light. Is there skin something tone? going on in this mirror? I just haven't never cleaned it off. It's, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, there's some interesting things happening. Anywho, can you guys let us know what you're doing fun this month? I feel like June, things are picking up, things are happening. You know, summertime. We actually started summer Fridays at work, which um, we have to like force ourselves to actually be done halfway through the day because there's always stuff to do. Yeah, um, I didn't do good at it yesterday, but I did, and I was able to like get some laundry done, which was really really nice. And so we're looking forward to that. I was able to finish a book. I've really I've read twelve books this year so far, and I've really been trying to keep up with reading for like an hour before bed, at least twenty minutes. I just need something because um, I enjoy it so much, and it really really helps me like fall asleep and kind of like put my mind at ease. So I've been really, really trying to keep up with that. Sorry, I'm probably out of focus. I'm looking for a brush that I can't find. Um, and I started a book last Monday, and because I read every night, I was able to finish it last night. So I thought, like, oh my gosh, if I do like a book a week, that's like 52 books in a year, right? That's well, crazy. Now I'm behind. Now I'm behind because I didn't like you know do that. But I really don't want to fall behind again because I enjoy reading so much. So leave me your book recommendations down below if you don't know what kind of books I like. I've kind of transitioned to exclusively reading like chick lit only because I love true crime, but then it like freaks me out and 
I don't really need like the added stress of that <laughs> in my life I've realized. I don't really want to read about like somebody getting murdered. Um, I just find that it doesn't bring me peace and so I'm trying to just read books that bring me joy and rom-com type books do that for me. But I do love, if you're new here, my favorite book series is the CB Strike series um, by Robert. It's Dancer. also our favorite show. It is our favorite show. If you haven't seen the show, it's on Side HBO Max. I've been using this bronzer, bronzer shade under my eye. I don't really think I like that. It's way too light and I honestly don't even think it's showing up. So I don't even think it would really work as a bronzer. But so far, I really love the shadows. I am going to dab the highlight shade, this shade, on top, like in the center. See how that works? I don't want to ruin it, but yeah, try that. Just as an update, I'm, so I did Lotus and Tamarind in the crease and on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to go into the Jackie Ina palette and go in with this shade Pinker, which is really beautiful. It's like a berry and it almost has like some shimmers in here. I need to take this thing off the mirror so I can use it. But anywho, um, so I don't like that. I'm going to go back in with okay, the, she doesn't like it, the metallic to try to like get that back. Okay. So as I was saying, CB Strike series is my favorite and it's, um, it's like suspense, murder mystery. Well, not even, it's not always a murder mystery, is it? Yeah, someone it is. someone died every season? I think I someone maybe. died every season. I someone has died every season. But it's fake. It's fiction. So I feel like that's way easier for me to read than true crime stuff. So if you have any like mystery, like he's a private detective. If you have any like PI books, I would love that. Please leave recommendations below. But any type of like suspense I'm into as well. I picked up like a Sally Hepworth book. My friend Shauna recommended her. So I'm excited to read that book. Um, I like Leanne Moriarty, all of her stuff that I've tried. Um, so anything that's fictional, that's like still suspenseful thriller, I can read as long as it's not obviously like too graphic. I'm not into that, um, but I don't, I can't read true crime anymore. Um, so leave your recommendations down below because I have like 15 books that I bought that I need to get through, but I'm always adding more to my Goodreads. Are you going to do your makeup? Carly, I'm going I, in with pink okay. Did you not hear me? I can't open my brow wax today. How do I get this open? Are my hands just like... You're being punished for being rude. Okay, got it open. Got it open. Tetra Top oh, Brow Wax. Pretty. I don't usually use anything else. It's like the concealer. Like, I can't really deter it. it. If you've ever used Anastasia shadows, I'm sure most of you have. They're actually really similar to Natasha and Nona, at least in the Safari palette, where they're almost like pressed pigments. Like, I'm trying to lay this down and then blend it slightly because it's pretty pigmented. But this is really, 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 really pretty. I love this shade. I don't know why I haven't used this before. I've like only used, well, I know. So I'm a creature of habit. I've only used the neutral tones in here. And shame on me because- What shade is that? Pinker. Yeah, that's really so pretty. pretty. I'm gonna blend it more, but I love this. Now I feel like what I was gonna do on the lips might be a little too much, but we're just gonna go with it. Cause I always thought the Jackie palette was like one of the best oh, color so stories beautiful. to exist on the market. I know. I agree. And I love the different, I think one of the things I really, really love about this are the different finishes. Like you have mostly mattes, I think. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Okay, maybe not. There's six mattes, which is not as many as I thought. Yeah. But then there's some pressed glitters and then some metallics and then some shimmers. So I feel like you kind of get a lot to work with, which isn't really true of most palettes. Um, I feel like you could, the thing I love, basically, to narrow it down, the thing I love about this is that you can make so many different types of eye looks, and I know a lot of palettes claim that, but what, same thing with this, actually, because I feel like I use mostly the neutrals, but like I said, you could just use, like, these pinky shades, and it would be truly beautiful. I have an idea. We also recently got some more caviar sticks from Laura Mercier in the mail, and I haven't used them in a while, but I... This shade Coco is really pretty, and I think I'm gonna smudge it on my lash line with like a oh yeah, um, the other end of my brow brush. And yeah, those see. are probably really good for lash line stuff. Yeah, they, they're just like doing more stuff, and I'm like, oh, I, really I could maybe last. try that. Let's see how this goes. Oh, you guys, this is so pretty, and I'm actually really proud of myself. Comment below if you're proud of me. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That was such a Leo thing of me to say. I'm not a Leo. We're Leo rising. Um, but anyway, I am really proud of myself for like using these pinky shades because, well, if you're new here again, um, Carly and I don't really like pink in any form, but we I guess don't. this is more so like berry. Well, I'm making it very like wearable. I'm trying at least, 
this is pretty very like magenta which i don't know it's like a more wearable form of pink but you'll rarely catch us in a pink lip although i'm trying to use like this berryish pink i don't like how that's going on with that brush so now i'm gonna apply directly and just blend out maybe with my fingers let's see what did you try that caviar stick it's not working i just used it with the other end of my brow brush hmm I think that's pretty. It's like subtle, but pretty. Can you tell? Oh, I like that a lot, actually. Yeah. I don't know if they can see, but I like it. Okay. Um, I said it looks good. I'm just going to use the finger method then. I don't have a lot of brushes, so. Yeah. I'm going in with the NYX Glitter Glue as well. Ugh, and I'm like, honestly undecided about what I want to put on this lid. I think that I want to try um, Trust Issues. It looks really blue-green in the pan, but I was swatching it earlier. And I feel like on the lid it'll look, if I can get it to work properly, I think it's like a pressed glitter so it might be, maybe this is a bad idea to be honest with you. I'm like really worried it's going to ruin the whole look. What? This Trust Issue shade. And it just, it looks like really cool and icy in the pan, but remember I swatched it and I was like, oh this is pretty. Why don't you go in with like Soleil? Yeah, I like that one. Or Zam I really like. Or you could switch it up and do sponsored the green or this one you have a green and pink yeah okay let me swatch them on my hand cool. quick because i have makeup wipes here actually so going in with mascara now are you going to use this beauty pie one no i i'm going to use a new another new one so i wanted you to try that okay so i'm trying another thing we got from beauty pie it's the beauty pie <clears throat> uber volume Rose velvet mascara i really like that descript descriptor velvet mascara i think that's fun yeah Okay, I think this is really pretty. This looks promising. Where's this made? The palette's made in Italy. I think that's made in... Made in Italy, too. Holy cannoli! I think it's pretty. I love it. Yeah, I was really worried in the pan. It looks a little, like... It looks like green. Yeah, but... You I could like even works. mix it with that sponsored shade. I just love that sponsored shade. I yeah, but then so that's, like, too dark, I think. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, you guys. This is really pretty. I don't use this palette nearly enough. Oh my gosh, I love this. And we like should I, go somewhere where we can use that palette. What do you mean? Like Palm Springs. Oh, Palm Springs. Yeah, this would be so fun in Palm Springs. <laughs> yeah. Anything's fun there. But yeah, this is what I'm talking about with this is glitter glue. Like, I, I did drop some. You can probably tell, like, a little bit beneath. Maybe I'll put it in the corner, actually, because I think that would be pretty. But, um, like, it really, really adheres. And I think that this shade is, like, a pressed glitter, from what I can tell. Oh, okay, this used to happen to me with these Laura Mercier sticks. I know everyone thinks they're so long wearing, but on me for they some reason, like right? I just used my lash curler and they it just came off completely. Not the eyeshadow, just the stick. Look it. That's so just weird. Just for my lash curler. Yeah, it's gone. Okay, I'm going back in. Um, I'm going to put just a little bit of Soleil on top of Trust Issues. Wow, that's bright and pretty. This is giving me like Jamie Page vibes. I feel like she would do something like this. Yeah, I feel like most people are way more adventurous with color than we are. Yeah, you're right. It's not even like I wouldn't I, try it. I just don't own the product. <laughs> like, truly. I guess that's true. I, I, I guess I own more eyeshadow palettes than you. I own two. So yeah. Oh, what? I only own that. What happened to your stuff, Carly? <laughs> what happened to it? I got rid of a lot of stuff. I only own, oh wait, I own three. The M Cosmetics, the two palettes from them, and then my Tom Ford Honeymoon palette. Which that's not even like a palette, because you can't really like, they're yeah, all like I, On a day-to-day, -day, I use single shades, um, mostly, I feel. But I love having, like this Safari palette, I feel like I'll never get rid of, even if it expires, because... I love having all these matte shades to do like any look yeah, with. Like I, I wouldn't that really palette. have, I wouldn't have really had a transition shade. Well, I would have for the, in the Jackie palette. It just would have been even more intense than this look. And obviously I'm new here. I'm new to fun eyeshadow looks, but I am loving how this is coming together. I know, oh God, I just realized neither of these palettes are available anymore. The Safari palette? No. <gasps> what? Yeah, when I got it, it was like on sale for like 70 I think, at Sephora because it was being discontinued. Well, didn't ColourPop dupe both of them? Maybe, or something close. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know that you could dupe either of these. They're so unique and the formulas are so good. No, I know. I don't really like the ColourPop powdered shadows. I can't use them because they have talc, but 
That's another thing, both of these are talc free. Do you have, I was gonna say, do you have Q-tips to clean up this mascara if I, I need to, but why is this going on? Like, I don't think I'm gonna have to clean it up, which never happens for me. So it looks good? I think I love this. Oh wow, okay. Look it! Oh yeah, I mean the brush, when I pulled the brush out yesterday, I was like, oh this looks promising. It kind of reminds me of that Wander Beauty mascara brush that we really like, that mascara. I'm putting Soleil on my inner corner, okay. by the way. I love this shadow and this mascara. It's really exciting to discover two things that you're like, oh wow, I would 100% like repurchase those. But I I wish the shadow was a single, but you know me. Oh Obviously, God. I just talked about how I have no eyeshadow palettes. This is so pretty. It, But P.S., as I was afraid of, this doesn't match my shirt in at all. But That's I'm just okay. going to keep the shirt on because I can't even decide what else to wear. But I am obsessed. Now time for mascara. I don't understand how this mascara is working. Like, I usually have to clean up my eyelids so much because I just get it everywhere. And it's not even the mascara's fault. Like, I think it's just the way my eyes are shaped and then, like, my lashes. But this is going on really cleanly. I don't, I just don't understand how that's happening. I Truly. think the brush is smaller. This isn't that small. It's not that big. Same. It's not like um, Lash Paradise or, you know, Yeah, I guess that's one. true. I'm going to go in, so you guys know, I, oops, I love the Essence Volume Booster Lash Primer. I actually need to repurchase this because I think this one is probably a little past due, if you will. Um, but I, I don't know, I can't do my mascara without a primer. I just feel like it really, I feel really like helps. I'm doing a really bad job holding this giant mirror in front of my face. I know, like for the people? Yeah. I know, I thought the same thing with that palette, so that's why I put it away. Sorry, you guys. This one's a little smaller, so hopefully you can see. But this lash primer, I love the brush. I feel like it just adds like the slightest volumizing layer to layer beneath mascara. And it's good. I wish it wasn't fragrance with my Lincoln Plate. It's $5. So, I had really never tried an Essence Mascara. That's a lie. We tried the two that they came out with like maybe three years ago. What were they called? One had a pink cap, one had a blue oh, or a purple right. cap. We actually liked them both. And I've heard people rave over the Lash Princess mascaras forever. And so I decided to try the Lash Princess Sculpted Volume, and I used it once already, and I really, really liked it. A little bit more natural than I typically go for, like for today, I probably would. Maybe I can build it up, actually. Um, but really, really love this, like, curved wand, and it wasn't clumpy at all. It, like, deposits a good amount of product. It is a pretty wet formula, so I think as time goes on, I'll like it more and more as it, like, dries up a little, because I prefer dry mascaras, but... That means they last. I'm going in with my, like, one of my favorite summer lipsticks, and I never remember, well, I think I only got this a year ago, two years ago. Two years ago? Well, it's the Lisa Eldridge Rainbow Spill Lipstick. It's like this super bright, almost neon pink. Um, in her, what formula is this? It's like the saturated lip or something formula. It's not the matte formula. It's a matte finish, but it's not the same as her Velvet Matte, which is my favorite formula from her. This one is definitely a little more patchy, and it is more saturated. Like, you can tell there's more pigment in is it. Is it matte? Yeah, it's matte, but it's a different formula. Hmm. Um, so I don't like the formula as much, but I love that I got this color because I don't have anything like it. And I put it on last week, and I'm like, this is just such a fun summer color. I'm was trying to clean off. I only have one lip brush. It's from Morphe. It's really old. They probably don't sell it, the G12. And I realized that I had used it with a red lipstick and hadn't cleaned it yet. So I was trying here, to... Here, I have wipes right here. Oh, you do? Yeah. Can you pass me been using this one. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Where did that come from? I cleaned off the brush. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to use this. Sorry, you guys. The small mirror again. Because this is, like I said, so pigmented that you have to like really be careful. Let's go in. And by the way, for the lower lashes, I'm going to use this Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara that I love. I put it in a weekly favorites. It's so teensy tiny and it's really good. I definitely wish that she would have launched this in her Velvet Matte formula, but I think the reason she didn't is because, like I said, this color has so much pigment and it had to just see something with the formula. Um, 
and trying to achieve these like super vibrant colors because this was, I swear it was, it wasn't last year, so it was two summers ago um, that she launched this collection and there was like four of these vibrant shades in this formula. And this was only one that I really like thought was unique and wanted. But it is catchy, it's like I'm not gonna lie. It's not as good as her velvet lip. But she's the queen of color. Her colors and her lipsticks are just like so unique. Okay, so I did end up mixing some of the Radiant Dawn Infinite Lip Plus from M Cosmetics. Yeah, in with the Morning Mocha, and I do like it. I think it added some pink. Um, like it made it more of a pinky brown nude, which I feel like kind of pairs with the whole look. But again, the eyes are kind of crazy, so I love it. Yeah, I think it's really pretty. Mm -hmm. I can't get over how blended my bronzer looks from that brush. I'm a fan. Same. My my complexion is my favorite part of this look. I, mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I really do like the eyes because I never do stuff like this. But the complexion looks really, really good. I always forget how good this um, ColourPop foundation is. Yeah. Okay. Well, hope you guys enjoyed. It'd be great if you did your makeup with us. That would be fun. We should do a live sometime. Yeah, we should do that. I don't know how, like logistically. Yeah, if you guys know how to do lives, it's so embarrassing. We Let don't us know how to know. do anything techie. You know, we're old. I guess we're not old millennials. We're like right in the middle. Yeah. Of millennials. Mm -hmm. right? Um. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed, and we will see you in our next video. Bye.